streaming live on news8000.com. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. I'm Jeff Anders. It is Thursday, February 1st, 2024. February, finally here. Felt like January was never going to end there for a minute. Yeah, and then, you know, the temperatures yesterday felt like maybe a little bit of, maybe March? Maybe we just skipped right into March, right? Yeah, just back and forth and back and forth. Mm -hmm. That's Wisconsin weather, right? Yeah, and the fog followed us into the new month, though. Yeah, it's back, the patchy, dense fog. In fact, we have an advisory across the area through 11 o'clock this morning, give or take, just what everybody included. Now, Eau Claire, compared to other locations, as far as uh, the fog over the last few weeks, hasn't been as bad, but this morning, zero as far as visibility. Same for La Crosse at the airport. Black River Falls, a big zero. Viroqua, Decorah, same. For the south, Prairie du Chien, Boscovelle, about zero. This is the campus cam, UW Eau Claire. Yeah, that certainly verifies it's foggy. Eau Claire is 30 right now. Not much of a breeze. Yeah, quite foggy on the city cam that we have on our building as well. Fog in 31, no wind to speak of. Here's a look at our day. We've got the fog. We make our way into the 40s. Sunshine, yeah, we'll probably see a little bit. We're going to talk about the rain and the snow. Is that possible? And where the temperatures are. We're going to continue mild. Full forecast, less than 10 minutes away. Alexandra? We will see you then, Jeff. Thank you. Time now for the stories making headlines this morning. What will Congress do to regulate big tech? That's the question this morning after lawmakers grilled the CEOs of five social media companies yesterday on Capitol Hill. The bipartisan group taking the companies to task over failure to protect teenagers and children who use their platforms. While there, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Snapchat CEO Evan Spiegel spoke directly to a group of families of children. Some they say died by suicide as a result of online harassment. CBS News' Jared Hill has more for us from New York. Do you have blood on your hands? Tough questions on Capitol Hill for the CEOs of Meta, Snap, TikTok, X, and Discord. The heads of the five social media giants also came face to face with parents who say their children were harmed. Some of them died as a result of online exploitation, harassment, and bullying on their sites. Snapchat's CEO also apologizing during questions related to children who died after allegedly buying drugs through the app. I'm so sorry that we have not been able to prevent these tragedies. Shauna Pouch says her 11-year-old granddaughter fell into a mental health crisis after she was sexually exploited on Snapchat. They need to be held accountable for this. The CEOs of Snap and X did express support for one of several bills lawmakers have proposed, others vowing to continue working toward a solution as members of the committee acknowledged Congress also hasn't done enough. It's been 28 years, what, since the internet? We haven't passed any of these bills. Committee members also say they want to reform a 1996 law that shields tech companies from being sued by users. South Carolina Lindsey Graham, who you saw there, says he plans to push for passage of that reform on the Senate floor this fall before Election Day, though it remains to be seen if it will make it to the president's desk and actually become law. A Trumpelo County judge is reducing bond for an alleged home invader. 22-year-old Sean Gill's cash bond now set at 15000 down from 20000 He's charged with six felonies related to attempted arson, burglary, and criminal damage to property. According to the criminal complaint, Gill broke into several homes in Blair around New Year's until one of the homeowners confronted him and shot him in the leg. He'll be arraigned March 14th. If you're a hunter in Jackson County, the DNR is hoping you can help them stop the spread of chronic wasting disease. CWD is a fatal disease in deer. While humans aren't at risk, CWD can threaten entire deer populations. DNR officials now spreading awareness of the disease in Jackson County. Last fall, the DNR confirmed two CWD cases there for the first time. A deer herd specialist says hunters can take a few simple steps to help the DNR learn where the disease is taking hold. If they're willing to submit their deer for sampling, that gives us information on where the disease is and where it isn't at this point. Maybe you do hunt uh, you know, far away from where you live. Uh, we encourage you to dispose of the waste in uh, a way that's going to end up in a landfill. She says landfills are shown to contain the CWD prions from spreading. 
Any parent knows the cost of diapers can quickly add up, becoming overwhelming, even crippling for many families right here in the Cooley region. VARC is stepping in to help local families with a diaper drive. Starting today, you can drop off diapers, any size or brand. Just drop them in the collection bins you'll find in the lobbies of VARC locations until February 8th. Can't make it to a drop off location? You can also ship your diaper donations directly to VARC. That address you see on your screen, 3120 South Avenue, La Crosse, Wisconsin, 54601. All donations will go to the Parenting Place, which says they distribute 5,000 diapers per week to community members in need. And also happening today, voting now officially open for News 8 and River Valley Remodelers 2024 Best of La Crosse County Contest. Residents can vote for your favorite La Crosse County businesses, including restaurants, places to shop, and health and wellness businesses. Voting runs from today until February 29th. If you'd like to vote for your favorite La Crosse County businesses, visit our website, news8000.com. Fourth graders at Mann's Elementary School in Eau Claire are participating in the Mann's Great Kindness Challenge. Inspired by the nonprofit Kids for Peace Great Kindness Challenge, the elementary school gives kids a checklist that teaches them how to be kind. It's intended to lift them up and teach them to respect and care for one another. One of the checklist items is showing kindness to your peers, playing and talking with someone that you don't normally include or know very well. Um, showing kindness to adults by writing a thank you note or drawing a thank you picture for someone that cares for you. And then writing down five things you like about yourself to make sure that you're showing kindness to yourself as well. Students created cards for people living in nursing homes. The kindness challenge lasts until every class completes its kindness checklist. The time now is 6.05, still ahead on your morning news. We'll take a special look at the world of technology, including why Universal Music is taking its artists off of TikTok. The answer may surprise you. And wanting to escape the cooler temperatures and go somewhere warmer? After the break, we'll have a few travel tips to help make sure you save money by getting some of the best travel deals. That and more coming up. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Here's something for people who are fans of football and also fans of a certain doll who ruled the box office last summer. Mattel is selling a Super Bowl Barbie for the first time. No, it's not Taylor Swift. You won't be able to get it, though, until after the Chiefs and 49ers face off on February 11th. That's because the special edition Big Game Barbie will come dressed in the winning team's jersey and hat. She'll also hold a foam finger with the Super Bowl logo. The doll can be pre-ordered though right now February through February 25th at MattelCreations.com. The orders for the winning team's version will get fulfilled, while the orders for the losing team will get refunded. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now This Morning is after the break. Bakers, do you love to bake from scratch? Cookies, bars, pies, and bread? Create sandwiches, side dishes, fruit trays, and more? Must be ambitious, a self-starter, clean and neat. Full or part-time bakers apply in person at Jollivet Family Farms, West Salem. Weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The board store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. I'm Kelly Wild. It's 102.7 WKBH. When my grandmother passed away, my mom gifted me with her a Bohemian cookbook. I found one recipe for a soup, and written on top of it, in my grandmother's beautiful handwriting, was, she really loves this. So I cook up a small batch, bring it over to my mom, and she says, what is this? I said, it's your favorite soup from Grandma Paulda's cookbook. Then my mom said, she would make this for her dog, Ginger, when she couldn't go to the bathroom.
It's time to power up at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the comfort that power brings to your new recliner, sofa, or sectional. All on sale now. And if it's powered up, there's even special financing and free delivery. Upgrade your reclining experience with adjustable headrest and adjustable lumbar. All at the push of a button from top manufacturers like Flex Deal, Lazy Boy, and Stressless. Sale prices, special financing, and free delivery. It's happening now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Thanks to Sky Rizzy, I'm on my way with clearer skin. Three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Nothing on my skin means everything. Ask your dermatologist about Sky Rizzy. Learn how Abvi could help you save. Jolivet Family Farms is seeking a full-time groundskeeper. Responsibilities include general maintenance, carpentry, plumbing, snow removal, lawn mowing, harvesting, general cleaning tasks, cleaning produce, a jack of all trades. Apply today in person at Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Good morning, glad you're with us. Uh, the Thursday edition, it's working our way towards quarter after six. About 6-11 right now with, yep, it's back. A dense fog advisory through 11 o'clock this morning. Just about everybody included. Caution, caution, caution. A lot of spots that haven't seen it as bad. There's certain areas where it just seems to happen often. I haven't noticed Eau Claire having really big issues with dense fog over the last few weeks. Comparatively speaking, this morning though, the visibility real issue. This is on City Cam 8 right now, La Crosse. It's kind of the worst I've seen it via that perspective in a while. 31 right now, it is calm. This is Eau Claire, Business 53 at US 12. 30 with the fog, it's calm as well. Our highs today, compared to yesterday, cooler, but still well above what we'd expect this time of year. 46 West Salem, Barry Mills 45, Bangor 46 for the high today. Southern zones, all right, Gaze Mills, Lynxville, 47, same for Lansing, New Albany, 48 for Prairie du Chien and Wazika for highs today. Arcadia, 48, Osseo, 46, 47 for the Hall, uh, Whitehall high today. 43, Cornell, Bloomer, 45, 46 for the high in Chippewa Falls today. Another mild day though, all right, we got the fog. You're outside this morning, mild 35, it's calm. Eerily calm. Pickup time should be better as far as the fog. Mild. The winds are going to be on the lighter side as well. All right, 45. We've got some warmer temperatures yet. All right, hint, hint. I'll go through that in your full forecast. That is less than five minutes away. In your consumer news this morning, a spotlight on all things technology. Amazon and iRobot calling off their $1.7 billion acquisition deal. The maker of Roomba Vacuum says now it's laying off almost a third of its staff and its founder is stepping down as CEO. The two companies say regulatory hurdles are behind the deal's demise. Amazon set to pay iRobot a $94 million cancellation fee. Universal Music Group says it's pulling songs by its artists off of TikTok. In an open letter, it says the social media platform isn't willing to pay artists and songwriters what it considers a just rate. It also cites concerns about AI and online safety for users. Universal says the last day it's of its current contract is Wednesday. In response, TikTok accuses the company of greedily acting against the best interests of its artists. Some of the artists include Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, and The Weeknd. Disney, meanwhile, banning password sharing on its streaming services. The move follows the footsteps of its top competitor, Netflix. Hulu says it'll limit account sharing starting March 14th. Hulu's user agreement, which includes Disney Plus and ESPN Plus, explicitly prevents users from impersonating somebody else by using their username or password. Although our area is currently seeing some higher than average temperatures, you may still be waiting for the weather to get a little bit warmer. Sadly, still 140 days left until summer. But if you can't wait that long for warmer weather, now's a great time to book a winter getaway. Doesn't that sound good? Jen Sullivan has a few tips on how to score the best travel deals. Is the winter weather giving you the blues? Maybe you're ready to swap out the cold for much warmer temperatures. Now is a good time to book travel. We're after the busy holiday travel season and before spring break. 
Expedia travel expert and AKA the travel mom, Emily Kaufman, says it's best to book domestic air travel at least 28 days in advance. That can land you roughly 24% in savings. For international travel, she says it's best to book at least 60 days ahead, saving you about 10%, but no more than four months out. So if you're looking to go overseas this summer, now is the time to start thinking about plans. But remember, traveling during peak summer season likely won't land you any deals, but holding off until September can help you find cheaper prices. If you have any flexibility, it's going to be less crowded and more affordable to go at different times. Being flexible on destinations can also land you some deals. We're seeing an uptick in people visiting places that are a little off the beaten path, but still have the same vibe and flavor of the more popular destinations. For example, Curacao instead of St. Martin, Taipei instead of Seoul, Memphis, instead of Nashville. Being flexible with the day of your departure and arrival can also help you find cheaper options, like traveling during the week instead of the weekend. Bundling travel through sites like Expedia, Kayak, and Travelocity can also help you save instead of booking directly with a hotel or airline. That's it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 6.15. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews for a look at our forecast here today. Here's what to expect as we get into our Thursday and really taking us through the better part of the week. All right, we have the patchy dense fog to deal with this morning. Generally a dry stretch that's going to continue. Mild conditions as well. Here's where the advisory is pretty much across our viewing area. Some spots really dealing with uh, minimal visibility like Eau Claire, zero lacrosse at the airport, Winona, one. Viroqua zero, further south Prairie du Chien and Boscobel, about four miles of visibility. City cam eight right now, very foggy. Look for the bridge, don't look for the bridge. Eau Claire right now, business 53 and 12. Yep, dealing with some pretty uh, significant fog. It's 30 in Eau Claire, 31 La Crosse, 32 in Black River Falls, Prairie du Chien at 29 right now, 34 in Decorah. Not much of a wind, a breeze to stir things up at this point. Big picture, satellite radar combo. What is out there and what's coming our direction? I see a couple systems here off uh, on the west coast. Very active weather there for our general portion of the country. Nothing at this point. Right, cloud cover, we've got the fog. That's really what we're dealing with right now as far as precipitation, not for us. I see towards Green Bay, they did have a little bit of rain. On Sky Tracker, the big picture, let's track this system here out west. As of today, Take you a little further in. Okay, here's Friday for us. Yeah, maybe some sunshine along the way. This is late Friday night into Saturday. Here's where the system is at this point. Watch the rain as we go through the course of the weekend. Saturday into Sunday, it basically shifts south and east of us, basically says, oh, we don't want to go there. It's high pressure, really, that's driving things, keeping it away for the most part for us. Up close today, your day, fairly cloudy. You got the fog this morning. We'll have some peaks of sunshine this afternoon. Tomorrow, we start out with cloud cover on our Friday as well. As far as rain over the next week or so, this is what we're looking at towards Wednesday, Thursday, scattered at that point. So ways to go before rain really back in play for us. Here's today, mix of sun and clouds he headed for the middle 40s, southwest breeze. Over the longer stretch, a couple weeks out, that's a long way to look, but still I, I like to look at it. Pretty confident from the Climate Prediction Center that we're going to be well above average into probably the second week of February. Certainly verifies in the short term. 45 today, 30 tonight, 41 tomorrow, mid-upper 40s with some sunshine over the upcoming weekend. Alexandra? All right, Jeff, thank you. The time now is 618. Still ahead on your morning news. Blood is one of the most vital fluids inside of our bodies and may be the key to determining if you're staying healthy. Coming up, we'll take a look at why it's important for people to get their blood tested and what it could tell you about your body. The UWL men's basketball team had its three game win streak snapped over the weekend. Eagles were home last night looking to avoid their second straight conference loss. I'll have those highlights coming up in the Blitz.
I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Step into a world of romantic enchantment as Dallas String Quartet presents a Bridgerton-inspired show Wednesday, February 14th at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center. This musical journey creates a harmonious blend of contemporary timeless love songs and a high-energy second half that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Order tickets at 608-796-3100 or online at ViterboFineArtsCenter.com. What's this? Time. Time for what? Time for the Great Vanishing Act. All this must go. What about me? You're the first to go. Hey, I like it here. Really? Hurry in for the end of business sale at American Home Fireplace and Patio. Save hundreds, even thousands, over 100 fireplaces and stoves, all displays, in-stock grills, and patio furniture must go. American Home Fireplace and Patio, Highway 16, West Salem. Ten years from today, Lisa Schneider will become the undisputed leader of a ginormous pack of dogs. Rescue dogs, to be exact. A second act made possible by the career reskilling courses Lisa's already taking now with AARP to help make sure her income lives as long as she does so she can finally run with the big dogs and the small dogs who just think they're big dogs. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Divorce is rarely an easy path, but when the split is particularly nasty, what happens to those caught in the middle? Most children will internalize what has happened to them as being their fault. The impact of divorce on kids, tonight at 6. News 8, your home for Super Bowl 58. Welcome to the Blitz. The UWL men's basketball team had won three straight until Saturday when the Eagles came up just a bit short at home against powerhouse Platteville. But lacrosse was back at it last night at home looking for win number six in conference play. Let's go to Mitchell Hall. Eagles eyeing their 12th win of the season hosting UW River Falls late in the first half. Will Furman is going to knock down the three Eagles within one. But on the other end, Winona grad Jake Reek responding. The senior sinks the three. And then it's Reek again feeling it. Gets the corner jumper to go. Falcons up two at the break. Let's go to the second half now. It's the Tomagrad, Dustin DeRusso, answering back. Fancy footwork from the sophomore. Then later in the half, DeRusso with the drive and the score off the glass. Eagles jump in front by two. Then more from the home team. Look at Jay Gross going to work. Pretty finish in the paint. Five point lead now for lacrosse. Falcons trying to claw back. Perfect outlet pass here to Logan Benson for the bucket. That cuts it back to just three. Eagles going to their big man down low a lot last night. J.J. Pider leading the way. He had team high 21 and 17, but River Falls rallies eight and a half to go. Zach Johnson knocks down the corner jumper, and then more great execution from the Falcons. Johnson finding Noah Hansen back door for the score. Lacrosse drops a tough one at home. Second straight loss for the Eagles as they fall 68 to 64. Similar fate for the women's team. The ladies were on the road in River Falls. The Eagles had a two-point lead at the break, but the Falcons outscored lacrosse 42 to 25 in the second half. Eagles two-game win streak is snapped as they fall 75 to 60. Wyack Player of the Week Lauren Milney led the way for UWL with a team high 18 points and 16 rebounds. Wolves back at home last night, taking on the Mavericks. Minnesota up one in the third and adding to it off the miss. It's Jaden McDaniels with the foul, plus the foul. Wolves go up by three. That's when Minnesota starts to pull away. Wolves go on a 22 to three run. Conley puts it in. Now Luka Doncic didn't play for the Mavs, but the Wolves have their own Luka. Luka Garza from downtown. Wolves go up by 31. Minnesota makes it look easy down the stretch. T-Wolves win their second straight. 121 to 87. Some Packers news. Green Bay has found its new defensive coordinator after four seasons as head coach of Boston College. Jeff Halfley is now the new DC for the green and gold. Halfley's got a ton of experience at both the collegiate and the pro level. He led the Eagles to bowl eligibility in three of his four seasons at BC. Halfley was the co-defensive coordinator at Ohio State 
back in 2019. And before that, he spent seven seasons as an NFL assistant coach. Halfley was a defensive backs coach for the 49ers for three seasons. He's also with Cleveland for two years. He started in Tampa Bay back in 2012. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's big pet care sale is going on now, and that means huge savings on the food, treats, and supplies you need to help keep your pets happy and healthy. Right now, get a free $15 Blaine's gift card when you spend $75 on Purina Pro Plan dog or cat food. Pro Plan uses advanced nutrition to create targeted formulas that help your unique pets thrive as they age and develop. So shop our assortment today and find the right Pro Plan formula for your dog or cat at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take once daily Jardians at each day start. As time went on, it was easy to see. I'm lowering my A1C. Jardians works 24 7 in your body to flush out some sugar. And for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease, Jardians can lower the risk of cardiovascular death too. Serious side effects may include ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. You may have increased risk for lower limb loss. Call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of infection in your legs or feet. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Jardians. It's time to vote for Best of Lacrosse County. Pick your favorites in each category now through all of February. We'll announce all of the winners on April 1st. Vote for this business today on bestoflacrossecounty.com. Presented by River Valley Remodelers. Is it time for new carpet in your home or business? Then it's time to visit Carpets to Go, Wisconsin's premier flooring retailer. There's a lot to consider when choosing the best carpet for you. With a tremendous selection and expert advice, you won't go wrong with Carpets to Go. Relive Hearts classic hits like Barracuda with Heart by Heart, Saturday, February 10th at the Weber Center for the Performing Arts. Featuring original Heart members Steve Fawson and Michael DeRozier. Hear Crazy on You, Magic Man, and Deep Album Cuts. Order tickets at 608-796-3100 or online at ViterboFineArtsCenter.com. Barracuda! Yeah, I joke, uh, my ears were her Valentine's gift a year yeah. ago, so. Yeah. Something I'd been thinking about, and so Valentine's Day was coming around, and uh, I spoke to Tom a couple times, but never made anything definite, and so I just kind of made the definite plan and made it happen, and um, glad I did. Wish I would have done it 20 years ago. Yeah, he can actually participate in conversations now and not just shaking his head. Better hearing is a better life. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Wisconsin divorce rate in 2020 was 2.1 for every 1,000 people. That's according to data from the state's Department of Health Services. Some divorces are straightforward. Some can cause lasting damage, especially when kids are involved. Our evening anchor, Ken Kozarowski, is exploring divorce in Wisconsin in his latest special report. He joins us now in the studio this morning. Good morning, Ken. Nice morning. Nice to see you. Yeah, so, nice to be on the morning show. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit about what inspired this special report. Yeah, of course, a, a difficult topic to be sure. Um, what inspired it is we We've seen allegations come to the station within the last year or so, and in the course of our investigative work, we come to find out that some of the allegations are a product of particularly messy divorce proceedings. Just a bit of background for everyone at home. Wisconsin is a no-fault state when it comes to divorce, so instead of focusing on culpability from one party or another, it's more about finding an equitable split in resources and assets. But when divorces are especially adversarial in nature and a child may be caught in the middle of a divorce proceeding, proceeding, maybe watching parents go at each other. Um, how does the court system then take into account maybe a child's psychological well-being during the course of that divorce proceeding? 
Yeah, that's tough for sure. For so sure. Um, what have you found out? Well, there are resources in place to try and prioritize a child's psychological well-being mm -hmm. throughout this difficult emotional process, but those resources do differ depending on what county the proceeding is taking place in. In La Crosse County, for example, parents are required to attend a county-run class to help navigate this ordeal in a healthy way. And children are also connected to a licensed therapist with La Crosse's Family and Children's Center over on Main Street. And it's that one-on-one -on -one time with a professional that experts say can really help a child process this difficult time in their life. Most children will internalize what has happened to them as being their fault. Even if it is just one contact, or it just starts with one contact, at least then the child knows that there's help. Now those classes or time with specialists are not available all over. In particularly contentious divorce cases, courts can appoint a guardian ad litem. It's essentially an attorney whose sole job is to make sure that the divorce proceeding ends up reflecting the child's best interest. And best interest is actually a legal term that statutes define. There's about 14 criteria where the guardian ad litem is using to try and maintain that they have the child's best interest at heart in those difficult divorce proceedings. So I'll be using my conversation with Dr. Mor Morkin over at Family and Children's Center and a Monroe County guardian ad litem to see what's currently working in the court system in a general sense and perhaps what areas need to be explored even further to make sure a child's psychological well-being isn't damaged long term over a particularly difficult divorce. So a, a heavy topic for sure, but one that uh, affects many of our viewers. If you haven't gone through divorce personally, you probably know someone who has endured it. So uh, an interesting topic from uh, the conversations I've had so far. Yeah, for sure. Can't wait uh, to watch that. And that's tonight at 6, right? Yep, tonight at 6 and 10. We'll be having it in both of our evening shows. All right, Ken, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for the time. In your medical news, the Food and Drug Administration issuing new warnings about the unapproved copycat eye drop, South Moon, Rebrite, and Favigo. Officials warning the products do not contain an active ingredient used in approved eye drops, and that testing of South Moon samples came up positive for a bacteria that can cause eye infections. So far, no word on where these products came from, and the agency warning consumers should not buy or use these. The FDA also warns the copycat products can easily be mistaken for Lumify brand eye drops. You, say it lo you see it looks exactly like those right there. Lum Lumify, by the way, are approved for eye redness relief. If the cost of prescription drugs is busting your budget, some good news may be on the horizon. In just a few hours, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Service will present an opening offer to drug makers on the prices of 10 medications used to treat conditions like heart disease, certain cancers, and diabetes. Mandated by the Inflation Reduction Act, today's offer marks the first time Medicare can negotiate prices directly with manufacturers. Negotiations will continue until August 1st when final prices must be set to take effect in 2026. It is a vital fluid that has many different functions in the body. Blood transports oxygen and nutrients to the lungs and tissues. It forms clots to prevent excessive blood loss and can even help fight infection. Testing blood can also help make sure you're healthy and detect certain conditions. Mandy Gaither has five things your blood can tell you about your overall health. In the doctor's office, it's not unusual for your blood to be tested. In fact, it's a critical part of making sure you're healthy. We often forget about it, but it's really the foundation of, of everything that we do in medicine. Pathologist Fiona Craig with Mayo Clinic says blood tests are not only important for routine health, but also for detecting when you're not healthy. One of the most frequently ordered tests is a CBC or complete blood cell count. It can help determine white blood cell levels, which can signal an infection, and looks at how many red blood cells you have, which can determine if you're anemic. There are additional tests that can be done to see if the anemia is because you are deficient in iron or um, some other nutritional factors. Or perhaps there's an underlying disease um, and anemia is the first clue. The level of glucose found in your blood can also determine if you're diabetic. Blood tests can also help doctors identify whether your kidneys and liver are working properly. There are now tests to look for cancer cells or small amounts of cancer DNA that can be used for diagnosis and also monitoring for cancer in your body. 
Before scheduling a blood test, Craig says to talk to your doctor to find out what's being tested and if there are any requirements. Sometimes you'll need to fast before the test. Dr. Craig also says some might feel dizzy after giving blood and think it's because of the volume of blood being given. She says many times patients are only given a thousandth of the amount of blood in their bodies and the dizziness is often due to anxiety about the blood test. A challenge to Wisconsin's absentee ballot rules may soon head to the state Supreme Court. Democrats appealing a judge's dismissal of their lawsuit to allow absentee ballot drop off boxes. The Wisconsin Supreme Court banned those drop boxes in 2022 after former President Donald Trump falsely alleged there was fraud in the state's absentee voting. The state Supreme Court flipped to liberal control two weeks after the lawsuit to reinstate the boxes was filed. State Republicans looking to limit Governor Evers veto powers. Republicans proposing a constitutional amendment that would prohibit a veto to any tax or fee. Wisconsin governors have the most expansive partial veto power in the nation. That's because they can strike nearly any part of a budget bill, including numbers, punctuation and words. The move comes after the governor used his partial veto power in July to increase public school funding for the next 400 years. Speaking of the governor, he signed an executive order this week creating a health care workforce task force to address staffing challenges facing Wisconsin's health care system. The task force will study workforce shortages and develop an action plan for the next state budget. Evers promoting the task force during a stop in La Crosse yesterday. With the impending closure of two Chippewa Valley hospitals fresh on people's minds, the governor said the task force is focused on that situation. The Department of Health Services already in talks with local health leaders in Eau Claire as they deal with the continued fallout. We're, we're working behind the scenes to do whatever we can, but the the bottom line is we're going to fix this, and we have to fix it. We can't we can't allow part of us not have this, the, uh, the the need the you know the need is is there. Evers blamed the hospital closures partially on the state's failure to expand Medicaid, saying if there was an expansion, the state would have been able to pay more to the hospitals. He called for an expansion of the state's Medicaid program again in his recent State of the State speech. The time now 636. Here is News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews to tell us what to expect for our morning commute. We can expect some fog again. It's back, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's our number one issue by far. So why there's a dense fog advisory in place to 11 o'clock this morning. Some spots with zero visibility, really. Here's what we're seeing on City Cam 8 right now. Certainly can't see the bridge. You definitely see the fog. Caution across the day today, mainly due to that patchy dense fog. And with the continued melting, you could have some spots uh, where it could be a little slick. 32 La Crosse right now. It's 30 Eau Claire. Ladysmith at 27. Decorah 34. Prairie du Chien 30. 28 Oscar Bell right now on our way to 45 for a high today. La Crosse with a dense fog this morning. The winds are going to be on the lighter side today. They'll be out of the northeast, shifting a little bit as we get into the day, dropping to 30 tonight. Quiet night for us. All right, Eau Claire. Here's the uh, fog in Eau Claire right now, 53 and 12. 45 for the high with a patchy dense fog, mainly this morning. Winds light. Quiet tonight, dropping down to 27. You got your full forecast. That's on the way next. We're going to talk about the rain, snow potential, and also we're going to continue mild. That's on the way next. Before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's 8. Ella is turning 8 years old today. She loves gymnastics, dancing, and Taylor Swift. Happy birthday to her. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. That's right. Just upload the photo. Go to news8000.com. There's a submit photos tab right on the homepage. Stay with us. We will have some of the cast of Viterbo University's upcoming production of Tar Beach live in studio next to talk about their upcoming weekend premiere. Ashley's President's Day Preview Mattress Sale is here. Right now you can get early access to Mattress Hot Buys, your choice just $6.99. Plus save up to $1,000 on select mattresses. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com to shop the President's Day Preview Mattress Sale today. News 8 Now and the Co-op Credit Union are taking part in Chase the Chill. Chase the Chill is a project across North America that provides warm clothing to people in need. 
scarves, hats, and gloves are hung on trees and parks with notes attached to them, letting people know they can take them. Co-op Credit Union and our community are conducting our own Chase the Chill campaign from December through February. Together, we can keep our community warm this winter. Donations will be accepted at the Co-op Credit Union location in Bone, Alaska. Spectrum Mobile brings you our best deal to start the new year. Now you can get unlimited mobile for $15 per line. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line with no added taxes or hidden fees and no contracts. Save over $1,400 for the first year. Call 855-231-7007. Spectrum Mobile includes nationwide 5G and the fastest wireless speeds with unlimited talk, text, and data. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line. Call 855-231-7007 or visit a Spectrum store near you. Looking for fun, family-friendly entertainment? The Lacrosse Sports Show returns February 8th through 11th. Experience a safari-like walkthrough exhibit of kangaroos, lemurs, wild birds, and more. Meet Dexter the dog, who learned to walk like a human. Get grilling tips from Mad Dog and Merrill, or learn from fishing and hunting experts. You can also feed parakeets, fish the trout pond, and get free scoring of your trophy racks. Come for the deals, stay for the fun. February 8th through 11th at the Lacrosse Center. LacrosseSportsShow.com. It's time to vote for Best of Lacrosse County. Pick your favorites in each category now through all of February. We'll announce all of the winners on April 1st. Vote for this business today on bestoflacrossecounty.com. Presented by River Valley Remodelers. Holman, Onalaska, and Lacrosse. Cordell's Automotive is now even easier to find near you. Which location will you visit? Being family owned, we get what it takes to truly care for your vehicle the same way you care for those you love. Schedule an appointment and let us help you know you're safe. Ashley's President's Day Preview Mattress Sale is here. Right now you can get early access to Mattress Hot Buys, your choice just $6.99. Plus save up to $1,000 on select mattresses. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com to shop the President's Day Preview Mattress Sale today. Working our way towards 7 o'clock, glad you're with us. About 642 right now. The bottom line from the top right now, what to expect as you head to out the door. Patchy, dense fog this morning. We're going to continue in a dry trend and a mild trend as well. Good idea, the News 8000 weather app, by the way. You get your weather anytime, anywhere. You can uh, download it, uh, Google Play, Apple. It's free. All right, here's where the advisory is. It's pretty much across the area right now. It's through 11 o'clock this morning. Visibility really challenging in some spots. Like, look at all these zeros here. Eau Claire, Winona, Viroqua. Two miles of visibility La Crosse. Black River Falls was zero, you get the idea. Here's what we're seeing on City Cam 8 right now. Certainly the fog is prevalent. This is Eau Claire, the business 53 at 12 shot. Our temperatures seasonally mild. It's 30 in Eau Claire right now, Ladysmith at 27. Sparta 26, 29 Prairie du Chien, 34 Viroqua is 32 right now in La Crosse. The wind, really not much to speak of, it's calm. Across the country right now, Calm, at least our region. This is uh, a lot of minutia, a lot of stuff going on. I, I shouldn't call it minutia. It's somewhat significant for the West Coast right now, several systems. Now, I want to show you how it potentially will impact us on SkyTracker in just a second. We're not seeing any precipitation right now. It may feel like it with the fog. All right, let's track this system. This is where we're at right now, taking you into our Friday. You see a uh, mix of sun and clouds likely on our Friday tomorrow. Into the weekend, here's Saturday morning. You can see where the system, at least one of them is at that point. All this rain as we go Saturday into Sunday, it tracks at least the core south and east of us and the rain just doesn't come into play for us. High pressure really one of the reasons holding it at bay as the tail end of the weekend. So we're gonna finish dry. All right, today up close, cloudy skies for the most part. There'll be some breaks in the cloud cover throughout our Thursday as well. We're likely starting out cloudy on our Friday. Rain chances, 
Next week, Wednesday, Thursday, perhaps we start to see the potential for some scattered shower activity. That's a ways down the road yet. Today, a mix of sun and clouds. You got that dense fog this morning. Middle 40s this afternoon with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Shifting to northeast later. We'll drop to 30 tonight. 41 for tomorrow. This is on the back side of the uh, quote unquote cold front. The upcoming weekend, mix of sun and clouds Saturday and Sunday. High both days in the upper 40s. Thank you, Jeff. Well, joining us in the studio this morning, we have Viterbo University students Ellie Parrish and Zach Sullivan. Ellie and Zach star in the Viterbo Fine Arts Center's upcoming play, Tar Beach, that's being performed this weekend. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank Good you morning. for having thank us. For having Good us. morning. Nice to see you. So just start by telling us what Tar Beach is and what your roles are. Right, um, Tar Beach is um, the performance that we will be having this weekend um, at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center. Mm -hmm. um, and in the show, I play Roger Dolan. Yeah, I play Rini Dolan. Okay, so tell us a little bit, what you can without giving too much away, the premise of the play. The premise of the play is sort of about this family in this really specific point in time in 1977 during the blackouts in New York City and kind of the hardships that this family has to go through and how they respond to that as people. Okay, and your characters, uh, how do they relate to that? Uh, Roger is Rini's father. Okay, so. Rini actually um, gets lost and so sort of the play is the response to it's being told from her memories, so once she gets lost, it's sort of like how the family responds to all of that and what they're going through together. Okay, yeah. cool. Any disclaimer on uh, content? Potential? Yes, yes, uh, we do want people to be aware that um, there are mentions of sexual assault, suicide, and verbal emotional abuse, as well as disorienting sounds that might be jarring to audience members and the use of smoke in the space. Okay, uh, so when is it and uh, where and how can people get tickets? It's this Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and it's also Sunday at 2 p.m. You can get tickets online at the Viterbo website and you can also go in person to the box office. Okay, so you can show up and, and get them. You don't necessarily have to get them beforehand? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. good to know. Um, did you guys learn anything? Your characters teach you anything? Anything that, that stood out during your preparation? Yeah, um, yeah. I would say the starting the process was very interesting and new to me personally because um, Roger is a 38 year old father and that's a role that I've never had to dive into before mm -hmm. um, but it was really really fun to start because um, it's only a cast of five of us so we oh. all are very yeah. close and we all trust each other a lot and I feel like that um, kind of served as a vehicle to really feel free to play in the space and to have a lot of fun um, trying out new things with each other. Yeah it really was cool to be in an experience like this. This was the smallest cast I'd ever been in and so it was really cool to kind of see how we all become a family and became really close even with our like crew and directors and we just all became really really close and it was such a unique and fun experience and I hope it'll be like that for the audience as well yeah sounds intimate all right set in New York correct yes. I understand maybe some relevance to Wisconsin uh, yes Perhaps. I think um, there are um, it does, you know, takes place in 1977 in New York, and it talks a lot about certain places in New York um, and the Son of Sam killings in um, that time period as well. Um, but I feel like all those things are used as a vehicle to further the plot. But at its core, it has themes of family and love and friendship um, that we see, especially within um, the other daughter in the show and her best friend. Um, and I feel like that's relevant to no matter where you are. And I feel like people will really appreciate how real it feels and how much they can empathize with that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, family, love, and friendship, something everybody can yeah, relate exactly. to, hopefully yeah. 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 at least. Um, so why would you encourage people to attend? Maybe they haven't checked out uh, your plays or your program before. Yeah, the message of this show is so important. And I think it's something that a lot of people should hear and will enjoy hearing. I also think that it's very unique in the way that we're in the black box, so it's a lot smaller of a space, but we have a lot of really interesting tech elements like props and the smoke and just really, really cool things that is very unique experience to get to experience the level of tech we have with a, such a small, intimate space. So I think it's like a really unique experience that people will get to have with this show. Yeah, it could be a good way for your first one since it's so unique with only fa five cast members. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right, well, sounds great. Thank you both so much for being here and good luck. Yeah, thank you, thank for having you so us. much. Thank, thank you for having you. us. No problem. We'll be right back after this.
It's time to vote for Best of Lacrosse County. Pick your favorites in each category now through all of February. We'll announce all of the winners on April 1st. Go to bestoflacrossecounty.com. Presented by River Valley Remodelers. Introducing Ned's Black Psoriasis. Ned, Ned, who are you wearing? He thinks his flaky red patches are all people see. Otesla is the number one prescribed pill to treat black psoriasis. Ned? It can help you get clearer skin and reduce itching and flaking with no routine blood tests required. Doctors have been prescribing it for nearly a decade. Otesla is also approved to treat psoriatic arthritis. Don't use Otesla if you're allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions can happen. Otesla may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Some people taking Otesla had depression, suicidal thoughts, or weight loss. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. With clear skin, movie night is a groovy night. Live in the moment. Ask your doctor about Otesla. If you want the best dental care ever, come to Grand River Dental. They will take care of you. They put you in control of your own treatment. It was like over and done with in a short amount of time. You'll walk out of here feeling great and probably want more work done because they do such an awesome job. I mean, look at how pretty these look. <laughs> It'll change your life. We're an implant-focused practice. If you think you have a full mouth of challenges, come see me. Come down for a free consultation. Step into a world of romantic enchantment as Dallas String Quartet presents a Bridgerton-inspired show Wednesday, February 14th at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center. This musical journey creates a harmonious blend of contemporary timeless love songs and a high-energy second half that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Order tickets at 608-796-3100 or online at ViterboFineArtsCenter.com. It's time to vote for Best of Lacrosse County. Pick your favorites in each category now through all of February. We'll announce all of the winners on April 1st. Go to bestoflacrossecounty.com. Presented by River Valley Remodelers. Divorce is rarely an easy path. But when the split is particularly nasty, what happens to those caught in the middle? Most children will internalize what has happened to them as being their fault. The impact of divorce on kids tonight at 6. The 8000 Plus app. Stream on your time. The Dream Crew is here! I'm hanging with my crew tonight! Magic's gonna happen. Uh, yes! We're all learning about things that are meaningful and important as well as silly and fun. We're all one big happy family. Weekdays at 3 on News 8. Welcome back. It's 6.52. Time for your morning news now. A Trumpelo County judge is reducing bond for an alleged home invader. 22-year-old Sean Gill's cash bond now $15,000, down from $20,000. He's charged with six felonies related to attempted arson, burglary, and criminal damage to property. According to the criminal complaint, Gill broke into several homes in Blair around New Year's until one of the homeowners confronted and shot him in the leg. Gill has waived his right to a preliminary hearing. He'll be arraigned March 14th. It's been a tradition here in La Crosse since 1967, but after 57 years, both the men and women's basketball programs at Western Technical College are being suspended. Western announcing that once the season is over, both programs will be discontinued. It's a tough bounce for the athletes at Western with the women's team netting the NJCAA Division III National Championship just four years ago before the pandemic swatted sports into lockdown. In a statement from Western's athletic manager, Ryan Monroe, he says, quote, while sports play a vital role in college life, we must ensure our offerings resonate with the diverse interests and pursuits of our students. The college hopes to supplement varsity sports with a wider range of opportunities that align with the evolving needs and interests of our students. Both teams will finish the remainder of their respective seasons with the Minnesota College Athletic Conference. 
State Republicans are looking to limit Governor Tony Evers' veto power. Republicans proposing a constitutional amendment today, yesterday that is, that would prohibit a veto to any tax or fee. Wisconsin governors have the most expansive partial veto power in the country. That's because they can strike nearly any part of a budget bill, including numbers, punctuation, and words. The move comes after the governor used his partial veto power in July to increase public school funding for the next 400 years. Any parent knows the cost of diapers can quickly add up, becoming overwhelming, even crippling for many families here in the Cooley region. VARC is stepping in to help local families with a diaper drive. Starting today, you can drop off diapers, any size or brand, just drop them in the collection boxes in the lobbies of VARC locations until February 8th. Can't make it to a drop off location? You can also ship your diapers directly to VARC. That number, that um, address on your screen, you see 3120 South Avenue, La Crosse, Wisconsin, 54601. All donations will go to the Parenting Place, which says they distribute 5,000 diapers per week to community members in need. Also happening today, voting now officially open for News 8 and River Valley Remodelers 2024 Best of La Crosse County contest. Residents can vote for their favorite La Crosse County businesses in categories like places to eat, shop, and health and wellness. Voting runs from today until February 29th. If you'd like to vote for your favorite La Crosse County businesses, visit our website, news8000.com. All right, uh, look closely. Where's the bridge? The uh, Clear Choice City Cam 8 shot of downtown La Crosse right now. Yeah, we've got uh, some visibility. It's about two miles at the airport. Zero, Eau Claire. The advisory through 11 o'clock this morning across the entire area. All right, uh, we're expecting high temperatures today, probably about 45 for our high temperature. Right, 41 tomorrow, and look at that. Mid, upper 40s, and some sunshine in the upcoming weekend, Alexander. That is a wonderful start to February, isn't it? Uh, indeed. Well, a Houston restaurant is taking a unique approach to attract more customers. They're asking for, quote, hot nudes. Nudes as in noodles. The owner of Ninja Ramen okay. <laughs> says he started an OnlyFans account to spread the word about his restaurant and Japanese whiskey bar. Uh, if you aren't up to speed, OnlyFans is a paid subscription website in which creators primarily produce adult-leaning content. Christopher Huang says his business is struggling post-COVID and this is an effort to save it. And to be clear, he says he's only soliciting photos of people eating ninja ramen, not true adult content. No, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, well, we'll end it there. Thank you for joining us this morning. We will see you back here at noon. Have a great day.